In the 1840s, the colony needed rail infrastructure because they imported everything from England. And ironstone was found when they were constructing a road to Berrima in 1833. And nothing happened. And in 1848, four um, people, men, got together and they formed a sort of consortium and they started to build an ironworks to, uh, because of the iron ore here, there was coal. And they had enough raw products to try and produce iron. The governor at the time in 1848 was Governor Charles Fitzroy and he visited the site a couple of times. He was very interested in it. It's thought that that's why the um, ironworks were called Fitzroy. Two words, Fitzroy Ironworks after the governor in the 1860s. There was a lot of publicity. The Sydney Morning Herald was full of articles about the Fitzroy Ironworks the local press all over Australia reporting on this fabulous new enterprise at Mittagong. Um, so it was widely recognised, but the government didn't give any support at all. They had several attempts at constructing the works, and there was about seven different companies all tried, but um, they couldn't make a go of it. Um, there was trouble with the coal. The coal uh, wasn't suitable, but it wasn't until 1864 when they built the first blast furnace in Australia on English principles. Now, the English principle um, of cold air blast furnace uh, was going out of fashion, and that's why it wasn't a success. So the next year, they got a hot blast system, and they were going to try and produce iron rails. But nothing happened. They had very little success. Um, anybody who invested lost their money. Everything they had to do was by hand. They had to quarry the sandstone for the buildings. They had to um, make the bricks on site. And all these materials, these raw materials, were here to do that. I think their struggles of, of trying to commence an ironworks, trying to establish a town, being optimistic of, we can do this. The good thing was that the um, 1864 company with Ebenezer Vickery, they uh, produced a subdivision called New Sheffield. They provided building blocks for the employees of the company to buy, you know, at a sort of quite a reasonable rate. And that started Mitagong. That was the beginning of Mitagong, the New Sheffield subdivision. This is the most important aspect of Mittagong's history and it goes on to be a very important part of Australia's history and I think it's essential that it's preserved for future generations to try to understand where the industrial history of Australia commenced. The celebration of what they tried to achieve and they did achieve um, the establishment of the first ironworks in the colony.